Hello and welcome to the Indian Sun TV. Today we have with us uh, quite a witty personality, someone who's put together an incredible project, um, and someone who's also an Indian uh, who lives here in Australia. We're joined by Caroline Manuel. Uh, thanks so much, Caroline, for speaking to us. It's wonderful to have the book actually come out now, and uh, it's it's one which is a mixture of a lot of things. I'm quite intrigued at the fact that you came about with a story uh, that has so much of India in it, but at the same time, so much of um, uh, fantasy as well. So, could you tell us how the book came about in the first place? It took me four years, um, and I was in clinical practice, and I had a lot of uh, experience and uh, knowledge of positive psychology and from my own personal experience I was only reaching out to my patients and one day I had this insight, a desire to reach out to a wider population to add more value to more people. Yes, uh, so the story is based on Indian, uh, on the background of a hill in India uh, where, you know, this was a hill that was um, transported from another place by an uh, Indian um, god and placed on, uh, on the southern tip of India called Kanyakumari. And this hill seemed to have a lot of medicinal properties about it. And, um, and in this um, hill, there are a lot of strange and uh, magical happenings, like where people can float and <laughs> you know. um, what is it about blending real life stories as well as uh, fantasy? When we draw the reader's attention through entertainment, uh, you draw their interest and that facil facilitates learning because then there is the second element which draws into the human condition, you know, like depression or anxiety, fears, limiting beliefs and interpersonal problems we have. And when we, when we use uh, metaphors and fantasy, um, they are representations of those real life situations. What are, your, what are the personal struggles that you went through um, that the book possibly speaks of? Yeah, I had a lot of struggles when I migrated from India uh, to Australia, getting married, migrating to a new country. You know, the cultural shock. Um, having kids, raising them, as well as a single mom, uh, working in the hospital with calls, long hours, juggling all that was a lot of, lot of um, a big struggle for me. And you can sort of identify that a lot of people have similar struggles. Well, Dr. Caroline Manuel, would we have more of uh, these projects out there in the market for readers to pick up in the future? Yes, I think there might be some more um, sequel is coming to this, uh, The Laughing Monk. Um, but right now I'm just looking at um, spreading the message of the monk to more people. It was absolutely wonderful speaking to Dr. Caroline Manuel today. Um, thanks so much for speaking to us. And, uh, you know, really, I encourage everyone out there to pick up this book because it's a beautiful tale. Um, and especially if you're Indian, you're going to absolutely love it with these magical elements that are in it. Everyone wants to have a happier life, right? So those seven steps are definitely going to be so golden. Enjoy and thanks so much for watching.